inclusion initially was Christian universalism. It was, it, it, I've expanded it beyond the religious um, aspects of it now to more of a spiritual thing. But initially it was that in the finished work of the Christ or of the cross, when Jesus said it is finished, that the work of human redemption had been accomplished, that all of humanity had been, and the, all sin and sinners had been atoned for and so by the blood of Jesus on the cross as the sacrificial lamb. I no longer believe in a God that demands blood sacrifices, but in Christian lingo and Christian logic, uh, Jesus is the, the Savior, Lord and Savior of all, uh, Savior of all and Lord of some, Lord of those who acknowledge that he's their Savior. But and that's Christian talk, and I can theologically, doctrinally discuss, debate that with anybody. I've expanded beyond that to... Um, believe that there is a universal reality, universe, uni, meaning uno, or one in Spanish, un, one verse, version, or versification of the whole. Regardless of your ethnicity, your nationality, your cultural and social background or being, uh, regardless of your gender or orienta sexual orientation, we're all essentially spirit. Pneuma is the Greek word, or mist, or breath, essence. The permanent rather than accidental you. That's what I mean when I say essence. The permanent you that has always been and will always be, that spirit. So um, getting back to that, we've s supplanted spirituality with religion. Religion actually blocks you from your spirituality and puts parameters and boundaries and limitations on you. The more we get away from religion, the word actually means bondage. In, in its original uh, um, essence. Uh, when you, we get beyond those bondages and those boundaries, then we become open and free and um, the illusion that we are. <laughs> uh, we're an elusive thing. It's hard to really get a hold on us and put our fingers, it just keeps slipping through us. So we keep following the illusion with great curiosity and great interest, and that's how we discover ourselves. Once you lose your curiosity and become overly, uh, what I call over certitude, you're overly certain uh, about a particular ideology, um, you limit yourself. And when you stop asking questions, you stop questioning answers. And so we don't just want to ask questions, answer questions. We want to question answers and keep questioning answers. That's how you expand and grow and extend yourself to your infinite person and personality or personification.